Hey, everyone, and welcome back to the Finance Zone. California is the golden state, the place where everybody wants to vacation, where tourists flock from all over the world, and where many dream of living one day. California is a state in the Pacific region of the United States of America. With 39.5 million residents across the total area of about 163,696 square miles, 423,970 square kilometers, California is the most populous U.S. state and the third largest by area, and is also the world's 34th most populous subnational entity. California is also the most populated subnational entity in North America and has its state capital in Sacramento. The greater Los Angeles area and the San Francisco Bay Area are the nation's second and fifth most populous urban regions, with 18.7 million and 9.7 million residents, respectively. Los Angeles is California's most populous city and the country's second most populous, after New York City. California also has the nation's most populous county, Los Angeles County, and its largest county by area, San Bernardino County. The city and county of San Francisco is both the country's second most densely populated major city after New York City and the fifth most densely populated county behind only four of the five New York City boroughs. The beautiful coast, the unique beach towns, the mountain ranges, California has everything. So why are so many people wanting to leave? Today, we're going to be talking about why everyone is leaving California. Make sure you stay as you do not want to miss out on this valuable information. Also, remember to subscribe and click on the notification bell. Well, California is on the naughty list right now because of the coronavirus. California has the most cases by far out of any state in the country right now. And with that large amount of cases comes a large amount of carefully structured restrictions on our daily lives. There are a lot of people in Orange County who feel very strongly about the coronavirus. Some are deathly afraid of its impacts, and some could care less about what they think it's some stupid virus. Either way, you could see why someone living in California would want to leave the state to be freed of all the restrictions we currently have because of the worrying number of COVID-19 cases. Multiple counties in California will move back into more restrictive COVID-19 rules amid a surge in hospitalizations and health officials warning that the latest numbers paint a troubling picture as the state heads into winter. The number of patients hospitalized with coronavirus in California has risen 32% over the last two weeks, and in intensive care admissions have risen by 30%. Number six, overcrowding. It's one thing to feel claustrophobic in a crowded theater, but when it comes to housing, the term crowding has a very specific meaning, namely too many people living in a single home. Just how crowded are California's cities compared to the nation's densest metropolis? California's state has among the highest overcrowding rates in the country. According to the U.S. Census Bureau, many Californians live in conditions that are more crowded than New York City. The U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development defines overcrowding as more than one person per room. On average, severe overcrowding is more than one and a half people per room. Remember, that's not per bedroom, just per room. California has two regions with the highest overcrowding rates in the country. San Francisco and Los Angeles both have higher percentages of overcrowding households than New York, though they both have less than half of New York's population weighted density. The Los Angeles region has more than double the rate of severe overcrowding, 1.5%, as New York, 0.69%. The evidence clearly also shows that less dense cities can have more overcrowding in homes on average. Number five, higher taxes. Here's how California state taxes will affect you if you're buying a home, making money there, or even just shopping in the Golden State. California sales tax. California's state-level sales tax remains the highest in the nation as of 2018 at 7.25%. And this is actually a decrease from what it once was at 7.5% until Proposition 30 expired. Combined with local sales tax, the rate can reach as high as 10.25% in some California cities, although the average is 8.56% as of 2020. And this is one of three states that add on local taxes at the state level. The state rate is actually only 6%, but adding an additional 1.25% local rate ratchets it up to 7.25%. California's average local tax rate is 1.41% as of 2020, and the highest local tax rate comes in at 2.5%. California is known for tacking additional excise taxes onto certain products. 
You'll pay an extra 33% if you buy fruit from a vending machine here. Number four, cost of housing. Newly released census data shows that in 2018 alone, 691,000 people moved out of California, with the number one reason being the excessively high cost of housing. Those who leave California have been tending to move to Texas and bordering states such as Arizona, Nevada, and Oregon. You take the prior reasons to move out of a state and add on a virus that's putting your state on lockdown, and California is now looking like somewhere you don't want to be living. The rise in housing costs in California has far exceeded the national inflation rate. During the past three years, housing prices in five coastal counties increased by more than 60%. For the highest quintile of cities, prices increase by an average of more than 30% per year. Evidently, California housing markets differ qualitatively from those in the rest of the country. Number three, high cost of living. The rising cost of living is something that affects people in all parts of the United States. Many people have had to cope with their wages stagnating while the cost of living continues to rise, leaving them in a very difficult financial situation. On average, Californians pay a little higher than most U.S. cities for utilities like energy and phone use. This exodus from California does not stop with just people. Many California-based businesses are now relocating to states such as Texas and Colorado, where taxes are nowhere near as high as California. Even Tesla will be leaving California soon. A company that is known to be infinitely rich has had it with California business environment. And that is truly saying something. Tesla employs thousands of people. The cost of living has always been high in California. Many people who live in California have to live with roommates or settle for a less than normal sized apartment or house just so they can afford the rent. In addition to high rent prices, gas prices always seem to be much higher in California than in any other state. If you're planning to live in California, you might consider having a roommate and using public transportation. Number two, high population. California has one of the largest populations in the United States and continues to grow every year. If you do not enjoy crowds and living in close proximity to others, California may not be the state for you. Of course, if you're planning to move to California, it is also one of the largest states in America. So with that being said, you do not have to live in the most populated cities. You could choose a more rural area of the state and still enjoy California living. Number one, too many laws. California is known to have strict laws that other states do not. For example, their gun control laws include restrictions on the purchase of ammunition, limits on who can own a firearm, and what type of gun a person can own is also limited. In some cities, such as Los Angeles, citizens cannot even apply for a gun permit, period. If owning a gun isn't at the top of your priority, this may not apply to you. However, there are plenty more California laws you may want to read up on before you make the move. Even before the pandemic hit, people still were not happy with many of California's policies, and some were opting to move out of state. What is now California was first settled by various native Californian tribes before being explored by a number of Europeans during the 16th and 17th centuries. The California Gold Rush, starting in 1848, led to dramatic social and demographic changes, with large-scale emigration from the East and abroad with accompanying economic boom. Taxes are high, housing is expensive, and cities are becoming overcrowded, all completely valid reasons for someone to want to move out of California. Thanks for watching! While you're here, go ahead and click one of these two videos on your screen. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below. See you there, and thanks for watching!